Hey guys, it's Rich. Welcome back to SITREP 101. I'm actually in the trenches during World War I. 1918 was the year. Over 9 million soldiers died during World War I. Uh, actually, over 6 million civilians also died during that time. It's an era that is somewhat forgotten. This episode, we're going to be taking some looks in the trenches of the war. We're going to try to interview as many people as we can, get a look at what they're using for weaponry. Uh, a lot has changed since what we're using right now, um, but I'm going to try to cover everything as best as possible. So sit back, and we're going to go through it and see what happens. Hey, guys, thanks for coming back to Sit Rep 101. Rich again, trenches, World War I, French, 1918. Like I said in the opening, a lot of guys died during this, both on the Allied forces and the Axis forces. Small portion of land stretched for miles. We've separated the two trench lines, but separated it, the trench lines range for miles. But if you take a walk down. This is an actual reproduction of a trench line that you would see on the Allied forces. Now today I'm representing the Black Watch, the Canadian Royal Highland. I'm sorry, the Royal Highland Canadian Black Watch. And as you can see, this is traditional World War One garb. This is my gas mask up front. Of course, my entrenching tool handle, my bayonet. Uh, my entrenching tool is located back here. I've got my rounds of ammunition. What they used during World War I was the Mark III Enfield. This is the Mark III Enfield rifle right here. Um, very accurate, even in world, even used in World War II. This was a fantastic rifle, extremely accurate, very reliable. Um, can definitely reach out and touch someone. But as you can see, the trench lines are designed exactly like how they were done in World War I. Enforcement walls, support walls, support beams. And if you take a look up on top of here, you'll have some sandbag bunkers. Come back here. Mick is using a period reproduction of a periscope. It allows him to look up over the ridge without exposing himself. And he can see anything that's coming in, you know, up to 100 yards or so. But we're going to try to get some more better shots, some interviews with some Lewis guns, Lewis machine guns, Vicker guns, uh, some Grenaders. We're hopefully going to catch some battle scenes. We've got some biplanes coming in. This is all a reproduction, just like World War One. All right, so stand by and we'll see what happens.